Hello and welcome to our today's class on the topic electromagnetic induction. As we have already studied in class 10th, when a current is passed through any conductor, it mainly produces two kinds of effect. One is heating effect, which is termed as Joule's heating effect, which is due to internal resistance, and the other effect is the magnetic effect. So the effect of magnetism produced by current was well known to the scientists around early 1800 but the later discoveries on the part of electromagnetic induction were done by Hans Christian Oersted and Ampere and few others. So the general question which arises is if current is responsible for magnetic field can magnetic field be responsible for current or by using magnetic field can we introduce current in a circuit? So in this chapter we would study how the electromagnetic induction works and what are all the applications for electromagnetic induction and how it was discussed. So once upon a time it's a, it's a story of Hans Christian Oersted. He was taking a lecture in a class in one of his institutions and where he taught and suddenly he realized that there was a circuit which is placed and a compass needle is placed near that circuit which shows deflection which got him thinking that what is the reason for this deflection so you have already known about this experiment which is Oersted experiment and how he calculated the amount of magnetic field generated by current now Michael Faraday and John Re Joseph Henry in USA, they both conducted an experiment around 1830 to demonstrate that the electric currents were induced in a closed coil when these coils were subjected to changing magnetic field. So what happened is a bar magnet is taken and a soft solenoid coil is taken along with an emitter, micro emitter which could measure the small currents even and a strong bar magnet is taken and the bar magnet is moved with respect to this coil and we can see that the emitter shows some deflection when the magnet is moved towards the coil the deflection is in one direction and when the magnet is moved away from the coil the deflection was in the other direction as the strength of the magnetic field was increased by taking different different magnets the amount of induced current was also varied which was studied <coughs> in this experiment so we can say the Faraday and Henry experiment led to the development of modern day uh, generators and transformers and the electromagnetic induction has a great extent of applications in our day to day life. The phenomena in which an electric current is generated by varying magnetic field, this is known as electromagnetic induction. So the, electromag the phenomena of electromagnetic induction was uh, we can say a magnet when moves, when changes the magnetic, when we change a magnetic field or we can say magnetic flux linked to a coil, we can see the generation of current, but this generation of current was not termed or was not stated as it is, it was stated as the generation of an EMF. So the relative motion between magnet and a coil was responsible for the generation of EMF in the coil and this due to this EMF the current or the electron started flowing and the current started flowing in the conductor. So when <laughs> what happens when we use a solenoid which in which we have kept a conductor in its core we can see that the current increases along the axis. So how does this happen and what all was used, what all was observed in this experiment so the first thing is magnetic flux. As we have already studied what is electric flux, the amount of electric field lines passing per unit area through an, through an object is known as electric flux linked to that object. Similarly, magnetic flux is also the number of magnetic field lines passing through a plane of area when it is placed in uniform magnetic field. If the magnetic field lines have different magnitudes and the direction of various parts of the surface, uh, we can say that the surface is not perpendicular to the magnetic field, it is placed at some angle. So the total magnetic flux can be calculated by the principle of superposition which says by doing the algebraic sum of all the magnetic 
fields along with their direction since magnetic field <coughs> has its own direction we have studied in the case of electric flux that the electric flux is e a e dot a electric flux e a which is e a cos theta similarly magnetic flux is b dot a where b is the strength of magnetic field and a is the area parallel or no not parallel perpendicular to the magnetic field so once we understood the concept of magnetic flux faraday did some other research some other experiments to explore this topic to explore electromagnetic induction but as far as the introduction part goes we can say that the electromagnetic induction is a phenomena which is generated when there is a change in a magnetic flux linked with an object and if the object is a conductor and emf is induced in it which produce in turn produces the current which can be increased or decreased whose direction can be changed which we would study how all these things would happen in further chapters in further lectures so thank you